Hi YouTube and welcome back to our channel. Um, so today I'm going to be sharing with you uh, what I'm going to eat in a day as a plant-based, um, on a plant-based diet. So if you've been uh, watching our videos, you know that my sister and I have gone through kind of a, a variety of different um, dietary plans. So we started off, we were doing Weight Watchers. Um, and then earlier this year or late last year, we moved into a plant-based diet. Um, I am still continuing that as she is as well. And so um, what I've been doing to kind of keep it going, because it, it can be hard, you know, sometimes everything that you've known as uh, <laughs> your, your foods to eat or, or go-tos or whatever kind of change when you go to a plant-based diet. So I'm just going to share some of the things I've been exploring, a lot of things that, um, you know, just to kind of keep it interesting and everything. So, um, and learning as I go along. So I'm just going to share some of those things with you. I'm just coming in from church now and I'm like starving. That's another thing about being on a plant-based diet. You can't just stop and grab fast food the way that you used to. You know, I used to, uh, I live in the South, so we could stop at the Bojangles and get a chicken biscuit or something on the way home and it was done. <laughs> can't do that anymore, so I have to come in and try to fix something up um, that's quick, but, you know, that's really good too. So today, being a Sunday, I want some pancakes, so I've got this um, organic vegan pancake mix by birch benders i think i got this at whole foods or either earth fair and you just add water to it um so i'm gonna have that i'm gonna put apples on it um, so i'm gonna cook the apples like uh fried apples if you're from the south you may be familiar with that so i'm gonna attempt that i don't know what i'm doing but i'm gonna attempt that and just season them with some um some cinnamon and some nutmeg and allspice and a little bit of lemon juice and i'm gonna put some walnuts on it and now for my meat i'm gonna have the sausage patties by morning star um, i don't have to have meat with every meal that's one of the first things i have to learn or become adjusted to as a plant-based on a plant-based diet is you know obviously you can't have meat but there's a lot of processed meat substitutes out there that I do allow myself from time to time just, just to switch it up and keep it interesting. So um, this is one of those, and this is made out of uh, vegetables. So it is sausage. I will be very truthful with you. For me, I don't particularly care for the sausage. Um, this is a maple-flavored sausage patty. I don't particularly care for this, but the Morning Star chicken, uh, veggie chicken, is really, really, really good. But this one... I, I just have a couple patties left, so I want to finish it before, um, you know, I just don't want to waste it. And then I'm going to just do a couple pieces of this uh, veggie bacon that I also like. Uh, so I'll just do that too. So that's what I'm going to make. And if this is something that you're interested in seeing how it works out, and I'm also going to share what I make for lunch slash dinner uh, later on so that you have... Um, a view into a day in the life of a plant-based eater and how quick and easy the meals are and how you can add kind of variety to them just some of the things that i've learned along the way so stay tuned and thanks for uh tuning in and we'll be right back so i'm gonna just start off by peeling the apples and then i'll core them and chop them up and put them in the pan So I've got the pan here, and I just put a little bit of olive oil in it, and then I'm using some of this vegan butter. This is uh, by Earth Balance. It's pretty good, actually. That's one thing I find about the um, the vegan, like, um, not condiments, but whatever you call them, like butter and the sour cream and um, cream cheese. I can't tell them a dif uh, difference in them between the regular, so that's a good thing. I'm not really missing any of the, the good things that I used to like. I can still have those types of items in a vegan, non-dairy type of uh, manner. So I put the, I'm gonna turn this really, really low. And I should say, you know, this is something that I equate to being in the South. I'm not originally from the South, but I do remember my grandmother um, frying apples when we would come down and visit in the summer. 
So that's kind of where I'm getting this from. And I did not cook with her in the kitchen, so I don't know what was in it. And I hate recipes, so I'm just making it up based on what I think will go in. And I've got some lemon juice here. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that in there. And I put uh, the nutmeg and the cinnamon and the um, allspice in there. And I'm just going to put a lid on them and kind of let them steam to their tender. And I've got my sausage and bacon going. And now I'm going to mix this. And like I said, it's just water in this. So that'll be really easy to make to get the pancakes on. I make big pancakes, so I'm only going to have one in there. So I just pour water in here until I get my desired consistency. And stir it up. I don't like it really thick, but I don't like it really thin. So I just eyeball it till it looks right and just stir it up really good so that it's not um, lumpy and a good consistency for pancakes. I've tried this before, this is almost finished and I would repurchase it. Um, it's pretty good. It's better with the fruit on it. Um, you know, I guess if it had milk in it and I could use almond milk or something like that. I haven't tried that to see if the consistency is better. Um, so it is kind of a different consistency than the regular pancakes, but definitely really good if you put fruit in them. Um, I usually do blueberry pancakes. It's the first time doing an apple, but um, yeah, I can do blueberry or strawberry, whatever you want. And then you can put some maple syrup on it if you want and the vegan butter. And you really don't know the difference between that and regular pancakes. They're not going to be as fluffy as original house of pancakes or whatever but they they're good so got it to the consistency that i want and now i'm just gonna make the pancakes so this is the finished product um i didn't cook the apples all the way down to where they were really really um like very tender because i'm I, I don't like mushy things that much so i cooked them to you know a little bit more than al dente. I put a little bit of a um, few walnuts over it and I've got my sausage and my um, bacon. And um, they're not perfect round pancakes, but I guarantee you they're gonna be good. So I'm gonna eat these and I'll see you back here later on this afternoon for lunch or dinner. So it is now like four hours later. <laughs> I ate those pancakes and I tell you, they were really, really good. And I just went into relaxation mode. So now it's time to get the dinner ready. So what I'm gonna be making today is a pasta dish. So I'm using this uh, rigatoni. Um, just cause I have a little bit left, I wanna finish that off. I'm gonna put spinach in it, uh, portobello mushrooms, my uh, medley of peppers, onion, and garlic. I don't have any fresh garlic, so I'm using this garlic in a jar just because I have it. Uh, my sauce is going to be some cheese sauce that I'm gonna make with the cashews. I'm gonna put a little bit of the um, Earth Balance uh, vegan butter in it and the nutritional yeast. And I have a little bit of um, this tofu cream cheese left so i'm going to put that in it as well and make up a little cream sauce to go on it and i'm not showing myself because after i came off camera and got off um came home from church and ate and just got in relaxation mode so i am not camera camera ready but i wanted to share my plant-based dinner <laughs> So that's just my pepper blend with the uh, onions in it. So now I've got the um, a little bit of olive oil on the stove and I'm gonna put the pepper blend in here and just kind of let that saute a little bit and I'm gonna put the spinach right in there. So 
some pieces got finer than others, but that's fine. And then I've got my spinach, and I'm just going to let it turn it over a little bit. I have the heat up really high. I don't always do that, but it's perfectly fine. This is a seriously speedy meal here. <laughs> and I've got the water on already for the pasta, which only takes like 10 minutes. So it will not take long at all to do. Let's go ahead and put the spinach in the pot. Hopefully this pot is big enough. For the spinach, spinach cooks down. As you know, so it'll start off, it'll be a lot in there. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little bit of um, vegetable broth in here just to give a little bit of extra flavor. But I really wanna put some um, seasonings in here. And I have a spice drawer that I had to use because my cabinets, hopefully you can see that, my cabinet um, that I don't have as many cabinets as I would like. I guess I should start by saying that. So in order to make sure that I had my spices accessible, instead of using this spice, this one up there, which is like too high over the stove, it's over the microwave, that's not comfortable. So I did this one. Did um, these trays here that, um, I'm gonna get a better view be a here. a better view of the, the spice drawer. So what I did was I bought these racks here um, that kind of have like a tiered approach. If you can see that. I bought them from um, Home Goods, and there's two separate ones, but it enables me to put my spices here, and um, they're close to the stove, which is really nice, so I don't, you know, have to go far and everything. But it's a really good option for me because, like I said, my spice... The, well, the cabinet that was more conducive for a spice um, cabinet is too high up, you know. The other cabinets, you know, are used for, you know, plates and, and glasses and things like that. So anyway, this is a really, really, really good option for me. It works really well. It fits in the drawer. It has a little bit of space on either side, so I just pop some other spices in there and at the back as well. Um, my mother wanted some of these too, and I was looking for her, and they have them on Amazon too. So, um, but these are a really, really good option. I was really happy to find these. All right, so this is the the spinach blend. I'm gonna put a little bit of curry in it, just a little bit, not a lot. Um, I use the 21 seasoning salute from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna put a little bit of rosemary. Uh, turmeric. I like to put turmeric in just about anything just, just because it's supposed to be so healthy. So I just put a dash of that in and just a little bit of this Italian seasoning. Seems like a lot, but this seasoning is going to go all through not only this spinach, but also through the pasta because I won't add any additional uh, seasoning to that as well as the cheese sauce. So that's my um, spinach mushrooms and all my peppers. And I've got my water boiling here for my pasta, so I'll get that going, and then I'll start on the cheese sauce. So for the cheese sauce, I've actually made this a couple times. I actually think I made it on camera before. Um, and like I said, I don't use a recipe, so what I've done is I, I soaked some um, cashews, raw cashews, raw unsalted cashews for the last hour. I soaked them, and um, I'm gonna just put some nutritional yeast in here i'm just going to pour it in here just because i want to control what i put in here so i'm just putting about that much in it to start and i'm going to put some of this toe foodie cream cheese which is a plant-based cream cheese and i'll put maybe a tablespoon of that in there and about a teaspoon of the vegan butter and then i'm going to blend that up here and I'll put a little bit of water in it as well, and that'll be my cheese sauce. Mm. 
So this is my finished pasta bowl and I've already tasted it. It's really good. I love it. I love spinach. I love pasta and cheese sauce. So that was one of the things that I really, really missed when I um, switched to the plant-based diet. So I'm really happy that I found a way to, to make it. I uh, don't want to eat it a lot just because it's cashews and cashews are really caloric, but I mean, at least it's better than having the, the cheese um, with all of the, the dairy and, and more fat in it. So it's a healthier option and it tastes good. So it is satisfying. So I'm going to have this and then I'll probably be ready for nap number two. And this is actually going to be um, a late lunch slash dinner when I eat like a, a hearty breakfast like that that I had. Um, and then have, you know, a, a fairly decent dinner, lunch, dinner, whatever. I probably won't eat anything else but maybe a snack before I go to bed. But this is pretty much a day. Um, not the healthiest because you shouldn't eat three meals a day. But I did get in food from all of the food groups. And so, you know, I feel, I feel good about it. And I'm also getting in my water. So thanks so much for watching. And come back and join us again on our next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.